Disneyland in France, day two of the 2011 World Weightlifting Championships. I'm David Goldstrom, alongside me from Iron Mind, it's Randy Strossen, and uh, we're at the halfway stage of this women's 53 kilo uh, final. That's uh, 117 pounds or eight water stones. The snatch part of the competition has finished. And as you'll see now from this list here, the 2009 world champion, Zulfia Shinshanlo, leads the way. But the top five are separated by just five kilos. And so a really uh, tight competition with uh, also Boyanka Kostova, very much the in contention a lifter who lifted formerly for Bulgaria but now represents Azerbaijan. So we're here for the complete second half, the deciding half of the competition as uh, into picture comes Joanna Lokowska of Poland. She just made one out of the three snatch attempts at 83 kilos so she's got a bit of catching up to do given that the leader has 97. Joanna who's been a pretty useful junior. In fact, she's won a European under-23 title. She won that last season. She was second in this year's edition of that competition, but has yet, Randy, to really translate that junior promise into senior achievement. Right, didn't get off to a, a brilliant start here tonight. Uh, missed her, her first and second attempts, came back in third. Be nice if she can get the first one on the board here. And she did, I think. Yep, three white lights, good lift. Three white lights, 103 kilos. And that's pretty well within her compass because we've seen her pick up 108 kilos already this season. And as you say, always good to get off to a good start, but particularly in her case because she had such a rough ride in the first part of the competition. Right. She's um, at the lighter end of this class as far as the weights that she's putting up and in a way, there's more pressure. You know, she knows she's not at the top of the heap here. And uh, earlier in the day, we did have a B group uh, competition. Uh, so, Sopita Tanasan of Thailand uh, totaled up uh, 196. And technically, uh, mathematically, she is the leader in the clubhouse because uh, Lokowska, who's the first from this A group final to get a total, she's got 186. So she's actually 10 full kilos shy of that performance from the Thai lifter. Thai lifters have a very good record in this particular weight class. Absolutely. Two Olympic champions, Beijing and Athens, as we see Yulia Rode, the only German lifter at these World Championships to find herself in an A group final. Yeah, some uh, really ill timed injuries on the German team. Hey! Biggest one, of course, is Math Matthias Steiner. We'll talk about that later. This is 105 kilos for Yulia. Special start for this season's German champion. That's just a kilo for, below what she lifted in the German nationals in final preparation for this competition. I was almost a little surprised she went for the jerk. I thought she might drop the bar. I thought maybe she was a little wobbly when she recovered. It was hard for her to stand up. Her face looked red. Um, tried, but no. And interesting, uh, interesting. Uh, in the Europeans this year, where she got a bronze medal, her last clean and jerk was 105, and she didn't make the 105 then. So uh, I'm not saying it's a hoodoo, but let's hope it isn't going to become one. Yeah, I wonder why, this, why she starts so high then, huh? So in comes the Olympic silver medalist from 2008 in Beijing. This is Yihi Yun, or Yun Yihi, from Korea. One of a number of lifters who've been competing in the university at this season. Much better. And just like the Polish lifter, she missed her first two attempts, or missed two attempts, I should say, in the snatch, and only brings 87 kilos forward, but this helps. You know, in weightlifting, things are moving in two directions. We basically think about the bar going up, but the body's going under as part of that drill. This lifter is very fast under the bar. 
puts her into fourth place overall. And that's just to emphasize, so Peter Tanasan of Thailand in the lead in the clubhouse, 196 her total, and she uh, clean and jerked actually 106. Uh, but actually, the woman who's in second place, Shin, uh, Shinen Fidelis of Nigeria, 195, but she actually clean and jerked 115. Now, Lokowska, second attempt. That very deliberate, clean style that she has. But she's much more comfortable in this, Randy. Yeah, I think that was a diplomatic way to put it. I would say she's got a really slow pull in the clean. And maybe it is deliberate, maybe it's conscious, but she's in a low gear, and you never really see really violent change in speed. You don't really see that noticeable acceleration when the bar hits about knee high, but she's getting the job done. So Yulia Road getting a bit of uh, spirited support from the German fans in the crowd here. So 105 to secure her total, second attempt. This year's European bronze medalist, another former under 23 champion. That was better. And that will secure the kilos well she really went for that jerk i mean you you watch this split on the jerk i have to say as an aside you know german fans that were the air horns i mean they're usually very vocal watch her feet though on this jerk she's gonna really stick them out there really plant them and after you get the body under the bar boom right there look at that but that really does show good desire you know randy wanted the lift worked it out enough aggression good job key word david desire she really went for it you know sometimes you can see it's sort of a half-hearted effort well 80 percent effort's not going to make it in this league and uh, nobody wants 106 i think yulia might uh, have to come out for that and she's got a decision whether she puts a, just another kilo on she's done 106 and she's done that again it was in the german championships what do they do here i mean she's not going to be fighting for a medal but what she is fighting for are points for her team right. what they're trying to do the germans they've got one place for the olympics they're looking for a second place for the olympics and all the German women know that they have to contribute to try and get the points. And many of them know that probably if they do it, it might be Yulia that they're sending to London. even better that's the best of the three wasn't absolutely textbook but three white lights and 106 that's a good recovery on the second and the third attempts i was gonna say she should get that slot of guts and she just underlined it with that successful attempt and that gives her a total of 190 and the problem really was that she gave too much away in those misses in the snatch space. Otherwise, she'd have been up there for 192. She's crying. Yeah. Just not really not what she wanted. Probably the clean jerks either, you know. But boy, she really, really came through when she had to. Picked up two good lefts. Now, Lachowska. Incidentally, Poland, who won the right here to host the 2013 World Weightlifting Championships in Warsaw. Well, I think it'll be in Warsaw, but... Well, this is good. I'm really pleased to see this, you know, real desire and guts and going for it now. And you can see that's given her a bit of pleasure. She did get a red light from the central referee. So your thoughts on that in a moment, uh, Randy. Let's see. I don't know. Do you think that arm is, the, is maybe the right arm? So, you know, we're so much higher than there and overhead. Yeah, well, hard, hard to tell for sure. Doesn't matter though. Two white lights, good enough. She got a successful attempt. Yeah, 190. I thought it was okay, actually. Uh, that was my initial reaction. I mean, we are 40 meters away, right. so I mean, it isn't. We uh, tend to be right, though. I I think, right? Well, you know, we're high and we're a bit more 
further away than we arguably are sometimes. So, you know, I don't want to I don't want to have a go at the referees because it isn't easy. Right. Um, but here comes Bianca Kostova. Now, this is another find here for Azerbaijan. Young, just 18, transferred to uh, Azerbaijan in the summer. Oh, power jerk surprised me. And really just stuck that. Yeah, Bianca, who made two of her snatch attempts, and she's in that group. She's five kilos off the lead at the halfway stage. And here is an improving lifter, because she came from Bulgaria, where there was nothing other than disarray, went into Azerbaijan, where there's a system and people who can bring her on. And a Bulgarian coach. Right. Indeed. They've got is it Zlatan Banev. Hey, correct, yeah. Exactly. Yep. And uh, she also won the Youth Olympics in Singapore. Speaking of whom, that's not he, though. No, <laughs> not he. <laughs> Thought from the back. <laughs> but, you know, she was a European silver medalist for Bulgaria in Minsk, uh, behind Eileen Dazdelin, who's in this afternoon's competition. So, I think Azerbaijan, you know, they had Mr. Christoph last night, who got a youth world record, and they've got uh, Boyanka. The Azerbaijanis uh, actually may well have acquired some very good talent. Yu Wiley onto the stage now. There's Re Banif, excuse me. Yeah. That's the guy we were talking about before. Another, another one of the Bulgarian transplants, I'm sorry, to the uh, <laughs> Azerbaijan team. So let's concentrate on Yu Wiley representing Hong Kong, which he's done for a while. In fact, uh, go back five years in the Asian Games, she got a bronze medal there. And 207, which she got all those years ago, remains to today her best total score. Second in this year's Asian Championships when she actually achieved 110 kilos. She has a very, I call it contained style. Feet don't go out when she's cleaning. Kind of textbook with the elbows out front on the jerk, but you know, she missed the left. 13 countries in this competition. And while we've got a moment, Randy, something we've not actually, I don't remember coming across this. After the final entries meeting and the Congress, entries are closed, that's it, right. done deal. And then suddenly last night, we were informed that there was a 13th competitor who'd been parachuted into this competition um, from the 58B group into the 53A group. And I've never, ever heard of that happening. She's a quality performer because she's actually in a medal position at the halfway stage. Absolutely. Uh, representing the Dominican Republic, and we'll see her shortly. But this is Thailand, and this is Pramsiri Bumpitak. What a nice jerk. Boy, just stuck that made it look easy. Yeah, and the uh, ties I mentioned uh, earlier on, they have a terrific record, but particularly in the Olympics. I mean, 2004, it was Udon Porn Polsak with 22 and a half kilos who took the Olympic title in Athens. And then the commentator's nightmare in Beijing, if you can remember this. 2008, eight in Beijing, Prapa Wade, Yaroan Ratanata Rakun. <laughs> right. <laughs> but she did the job and also lifted up 221. So the Thais actually have taken the last two Olympic titles and there have only been three. Chinese generally have dominated until Shinshala of Kazakhstan came along in 2009. Now, Korea. The silver medalist from Beijing. The world bronze medalist from Goyang in 2009. Yun. Rotates a little bit, but I think that will be all right. Three white lights, indeed it is. And that's a five kilo increase 
Yeah, I mentioned earlier that she's very fast under the bar. She's a good technician. She doesn't have the strongest leg. She double bounced in the bottom position to help herself recover. And then, despite that tough recovery, she nails a jerk. Has to waltz around with it a bit. That doesn't matter. Just needs to get the bar under control. I'll get the down signal. Boy, that left arm on replay looked a little soft, huh? Well, interestingly now, uh, we've got, just looking at the uh, scoreboard here, we've got Kostova on 200. Then we've got uh, Bumfitak of Thailand on 197, equal with Yoon now on uh, 197. But uh, it is the Thai who's lighter, so in silver medal at the moment. Now, this is Yu Wei Lee from Hong Kong. Second attempt needs this. Four meters to work with, but needs to stop and has done, and must put the bar back on the platform. Two to one again, the central referee here, not happy with that. And that's Mr. Yang Su Kwan of Taipei. Watch the feet again, they're not really gonna move out to the side. Well, we lost the shot, and then watch the elbows when she gets set up for the jerk out front. All pretty textbook looking, boom, punches it overhead. Well, the, the infraction wasn't apparent to me. Well, not from what we saw. Unfortunately, we didn't get that head on where you can see both of the arms. But I mentioned the 13th competitor. Well, so far, 13 is not unlucky for this young woman. This is uh, Yudekri Contreras from the Dominican Republic, 25 years of age, the world bronze medalist last year in Antalya. And currently comes in at the halfway stage in the silver medal position and brings forward 95 kilos. So a real contender again. 111 to get her on her way. So that's going to take her into overall first place. And those young women who competed in the B group now have all been usurped and passed now. Very, very wide grip on this jerk. And no problem overhead. Good left. So 206 kilos has the lead at the moment. Just to put that into context, uh, in terms of winning this category, pretty decent totals, Randy. I mean, 222 last year for Chen uh, Yao Ting. 219 for uh, Chin Shanlo of Kazakhstan the year before. I mean, if you go back, uh, we're all in the 220s or the, the high 219s, 218s. So really looking forward to this. I think this could be a really good fight uh, towards the end of this category because we saw at the end of the snatch a real poker game going on where the Chinese and the Kazakhs put their cards down. Neither succeeded in a funny sort of way because both of their women failed their lifts. But I'm expecting a little bit more of that. So this is Xu. Xu Xu Xing, the university or university ad silver medalist, won that uh, silver medal in Shenzhen. Did a pretty good job there, five out of six for a total of 207. Now that's okay. When the weight categories were established for this particular women's competition which is along with all of the others back in 1998 actually Taipei had a really good record they uh, it was Wang uh, Xu Fen who won with 210 in 98 Li Fen Ying who won with 215 in 99 and Li Fen Ying uh, came back in 210 so there's a bit of history for Taipei lifters to do well in this Just get the sense here that it's bubbling nicely now. <laughs> we're in, we're sort of not in the main course. 
but we're just getting a really good hors d'oeuvre here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A few more lifts will be up to uh, the, the top, the top performers in this category. crushed by that uh, sometimes and I hope this didn't happen here sometimes the lifters elbow will get caught on the knee as they're missing like that usually more of a problem uh, with the wrist injury there's a technical rule in weightlifting you're not allowed to have your your elbow hit your knee on a clean you know it certainly doesn't help you have that happen and sometimes it can result in an injury I don't think it's the case here uh, so she was dropping the bar and the left arm just did not swing free of the knee it got hung up on her knee as she's dropping the bar got a little torque there but hopefully she's fine will bounce back you know one of the things that's helping i think david in this session you know is that we we don't have as many misses you know once again the snatch is uh, really plagued by a lot of misses and it just ruins the rhythm well clean and jerk if you've got the strength it is that little bit more forgiving isn't it yeah yeah i think it's true that if you have a larger margin for adjustments Well, I think when you get that, you know, she got the second one in and that secures the total and then quite often you, that little bit of tension goes out of you just yeah. the flow you're much more connected very very interesting you say that because you know you almost wondered does she have stage fright tense on the opener And next up should be the Japanese lifter Hiromi Miyaki her parents are here to uh, watch her and this is a lifter who I think is finally coming of age, uh, mid-twenties, but she's been just steadily improving. She's not quite set the world on fire, but she is probably the brightest Japanese weightlifting prospect, man or woman, in their whole squad. Oh, too bad. F family watching with an eagle eye. That was her father in the left of that image right before she started left. Yoshiyuki, who was a bronze medalist um, in maybe the Mexico City Olympics or so, and his brother was a gold medalist. So it runs in the family. She was looking very good going into Beijing and then had a little bit of a meltdown, I think, there. And I think there's a maybe interest in whether or not she's going to rally for London. Yeah, I mean, she, she was in the 48 kilo class in Beijing um, and actually only got two out of six and that was her real undoing she she got a total of 185 she ended up with sixth place but it could have been oh so much better right and so I'm really disappointed for her that she didn't get that first one in now Thailand Pramsiri Mumfitak there's another young woman who ran into trouble in the Olympic Games didn't get a total but if you go back to 2007, when she was lifting as a 48 kilo lifter on her home stage in Chiang Mai, got a world silver. Well, she never caught that. Yeah, had to chase that a little bit. <laughs> she, she almost looks mystified at yeah. herself. It's just like, why didn't I get my elbows around yeah. higher and faster? Lifter's got to whip the elbows around now. There it goes. Got to get the elbows up high. That'll help secure the bar on the shoulders. Yep. Chases out front going, boy, that felt heavy. It shouldn't have. Yeah, she just didn't get that right at all. Alexi Nee, the animated Kazakh coach. Now, one thing I'd say for the uh, crowd, oh, okay, this is only day two, but they're very knowledgeable here, and, and as soon as they pick up that somebody's having a bit of a tough moment, they actually get behind her, no matter what nationality. Now, come on, you know what I mean? Well, she listened to you, David. Maybe you should get into the coaching squad on her well, side. They're watching this live back in Japan as well. So, you know, yeah. yep. Nice look. But, you know, she'll kick herself. She didn't do it the first time. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's lives lost. Yeah. 
dip, drive, get the body under, nice deep split. You know, this point that you mentioned, this is this is somewhat unique in weightlifting, frankly. I, I mean, the crowd here has supported every lifter. It's not a partisan sort of thing. I mean, we're at major championships where partisan crowd will be booing a competitor. They are supporting everyone here, very vocal. It's a great environment here. Don't you feel a great, great sort of feeling in this hall? Yeah. Incidentally, that's 201, by the way, for uh, Miyaki. Puts her in at the moment into overall bronze, but she needed to uh, really make six out of six today. She got two out of three, but now we're back to the tie lifter who had that uh, very uncharacteristic moment. Yeah, Miss Q. Miss yeah. Q and McLean. Now. She can make this. Well, I'm very disappointed for her. Yeah, but you know, if she had one more attempt, she'd make it because she got a little, a little further along with it that time. So, I mean, seriously, you could see it's a heavyweight for her. you. Can tell when she racks it. Not easy to stand up with this. She, she works, recovers, gives some drives to the jerk, and it's just not going to quite be there. And she lets go of that pretty fast, I think. Mm. Combination of maybe not quite enough strength or just energy running out? Both, yeah. Both. Yeah. You, you know, and maybe understanding that's the situation. Yeah. So just looking at that, uh, she ends on 197, and that is a mere kilo ahead of her teammate, Sopita Tanasan, who lifted in the B group. So she just about escaped from jail because she actually uh, had entered a total of 207. Now, there's nothing legally problematic about that, but being 10 kilos off the target doesn't make you feel too good. Sin Choi Ok of the People's Republic of Korea, 26 years of age bringing forward 85 kilos, so clearly feels that this is more her cup of tea in the clean and jerk. talking about lifters having to double bounce uh, to stand up. Here's a lifter who just basically hits, you know, no, no speed in the bottom. Just dead stop, stands up calmly, and then punches this, this bar overhead on the jerk. Strong legs, very narrow split. She's really got the strength for this left. And just to tell you, Eileen Dastelin entered her first attempt of 115 and may well be going up. Uh, Zulfia Shinshalo, 120. That was her uh, opening lift. And also uh, Yi Ying of China, 120. So we're not far away now, but this is uh, Boyanka Kostova. Hasn't quite nailed the consistency, but you know, you have to put into context that she's only 18. So Zlatan on the right there, looking on. Twenty seconds on the clock. Well, I tell you what, that's a whopping increase, seven kilos. Yeah, you know, the power jerk, I don't know. If she had gotten a little deeper, I think she might have made that made that lift. Let's watch if we can see it from the side. thing on a power jerk, it's like a quarter squat. It doesn't really get your body that far under the bar. If your legs are really strong and your name is Pyrrhus Dimas, for example, it would work well. But notice she did not get her body as low under the bar as she might have, say, if she had split deeply or done a squat jerk and missed the lift. Yeah, that would have actually put her on her entry total. Uh, but she's got one more go at it, and now 115 for uh, Hiromi Miyaki, and this will be a personal best. 113, she's done before. 115 on a competition stage. This is new territory. She'll have done it back home in training, but this is a whole lot different. Has to work on the clean. One big effort, come on, Whoa. come on. 
I think she might just get away with that. I don't know what you think. Was there a pressure? Oh, that was there? a fine look. You know, she hit also yeah. did stop the bottom of the squat, but she did not have a whole bunch of reserve for standing up. She had to kind of grind that sucker back up, dip and drive, you know, has to work on this jerk. She fights and she makes it. Nice place for a big BR. Yeah, it's good because that takes her up to uh, 203. And you know, the World Championships last year, 200. Asian Games last year, only 190. So she's going in the right direction. And she's earning good points for herself and her Japanese team. Who knows, will that be a contribution that actually gets her to London 2012? The, the system's so complicated, we can't actually tell you that now. But we can only hope on her sake that it does. Now, Kostova, same challenge. Can she pick up these extra seven kilos? Boy, that's hard. Too hard. Too much. Yeah, she didn't even go all the way down to the bottom position, I don't think, when she paused and tried it again to stand up with that. Let's see if we can see this in slow motion. Well, you can just see here, Randy, really struggles. So onto the stage comes uh, Yuriqui Contreras to take our second attempt, 116. Now again, this is five kilos. These women weighed in at uh, just under 53 kilos. So this is well over double body weight. So this would take her to 2.11. She's in first place overall at the moment, so this would consolidate, but still lift us to start. Oof. Yeah, you know, first line as though she's been decapitated, but don't worry, there's enough clearance. The bar will be safely over her head, safely over her throat. First time you see it, you're sure you're gonna see a separation in the head from the body. Doesn't, doesn't happen though, it's not decapitation. That was second attempt, so she does have one more go. But there are three lifters in the wings. Shin Shanlo of Kazakhstan. And also... Uh, Ye Ying. And Eileen Dastalin as well. There's Shin Shanlo. Sensational appearance at the age of 16 in Goyang to take the title completely took our breath away. She signposted good things at the uh, Youth World Championships in 2009, but when she came on stage, she just blew us away with what she produced in Korea. Absolutely surprised, just a surprise. And the leg strength, the drive, I mean, she was great. It's interesting, she does actually yo-yo a bit. When she won the, uh, well, she got the Youth Olympic silver medal uh, in Singapore last season, but she lifted at 58 and has come down again. Uh, this does seem to be her preferred class, but so from time to time, I'm talking about Shin Shanlo, who's not in picture. Uh, she does go up to 58. Not unusual for a lot of lifters to do that. Now, very serious face here. 25 years of age, the bronze medalist from last year. Her destiny, because of that failure, has rather gone out of her hands. And it'll go even more away from her if she fails this time. So this is crucial. At the moment, believe it or not, uh, Miyaki of Japan is leading the clean and jerk. Fifteen seconds. But that was better than the second attempt. A disappointing end to what was a promising start. Yeah, and uh, she almost looked as if she knew that was going to happen, you know, the, this miss. I don't know if her heart was fully into that. Watch on this jerk attempt. 
wide spacing and feet down the hands, dip and drive. I mean, she exits from that really quickly. Desdalen. I mean, she did weigh in also at uh, 52.94. She was, you know, towards the top end. Lukowska, actually, of Poland, weighed in right on 53. Mm. <laughs> now, Xu of Taipei. Couple of attempts left. This is the second one. And that's pretty good. Boy, it just marched right through that way. And, you know, there's a possibility here. I mean, that's going to take her into the lead in the clean and jerk. That sure didn't look like a standard second attempt. It also looked like a warm up weight for her. Well, as we always say, first one, you should be absolutely nailed on. The second one, you've done a million times, so it should yeah. be there. The third one is where you perhaps push yourself into unknown territory. Yeah, it would be interesting to see them what she picks. I mean, you think, you can almost predict a big jump. I don't think we're going to see it, but the way she handled that weight. Well, she's on 210. She's taken the overall lead. She's got one more attempt to go. Yeah, and I would guess she's going to, she's going to. Well, the interesting thing is she's not out of this because remember she carried forward 93 right. kilos. So the leader was in Charlo with 97. So the odds are against her rather than for her. As you see Xi Jing here in warm up. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, um, drilling, drilling, you know, watching. She's in for, what is she in for? What she's supposed to be coming out at? 120. 120. Um, and that's where it's waiting. gone to. Yeah, so she's been waiting, and that's why the lightweight, just kind of keeping everything sharp, keeping everything warm for as many reps as she's done. But I think on the, the, the Taipei woman, I think that they're going to hold on to that attempt. Oh, I think that I think spend it cheaply early. Yeah, I think it's the glory lift, isn't it? Huh. it and it could work. You yeah. don't know. But it just depends. This is Sofira Shinshanlo, the 18-year-old world champion in Korea in 2009, trying to regain the title. The reason she didn't keep the title was she prioritized last year the Asian Games. That didn't quite come off. Um, she got the silver medal there, totaled up 219. But she's in pretty good shape so far. There was the leg strength we talked about. It's one of the first things that we noticed when she made the appearance, at least on our radar screen, was how strong her legs were. I mean, she just stands up with the stuff as if it's an empty bar. And the whole lift, I mean, she just punches right through this weight. And I think you were referring, you know, when we first saw it to her, elasticity. <laughs> well, I said hard rubber ball. She reminds me of a hard rubber ball. I mean, she just bounces up, you know, yeah. these, these weights. But this is not just going to be about Shin Shanlo if Eileen does tell him. She's really been a fantastic servant to the Turkish team. She's 29 years of age now. She's the reigning European champion this season. She's been second in the world. That was last year when she totaled up 211. And uh, actually, she's won the European title in her career on three occasions, going back to 2002. So she has been a fantastic lifter over the years. Really consistent, really gutsy. String of three good snatches, too, coming into the clean and jerk. So she's got good momentum going. Is already a kilo more than she uh, sorry that's just a kilo less than she did last year and that's her opener yeah yeah I think she brought her a-game here tonight well real disappointment that Norjan Thailand was injured you know earlier in the past week and wasn't able to compete in the 48 kilos that really was a, a bit like a, a really hard punch in the stomach for the Turkish team yeah because they lost a big star I mean not lost her forever but they just lost her from the championship but again the Turkish team they're looking for points to actually get a full complement of four lifters to go to London so that's why it was a really hard blow for her personally and collectively for the squad so now, 120, they've realized how far they can go. And Xu Xu Xing sitting on 210 at the moment, which is a pretty decent score, but now trying to take this to 213.
pretty good. See, I think the question they're going to be asking now is, could we have gone up even a little bit more? Should we have had nerves of steel and waited just another kilo or two or three? But good left. Yeah, puts her in the lead in the clean and jerk. Puts her third over all. Actually, it puts her second overall. I beg everybody's pardon. And uh, Xi Jing now, who had this uh, sort of little head to head with Shinshalo in the snatch phase, and neither of them, they put the kilos up and were testing each other, but when they both came out to lift for the third attempt, neither of them made it. Shinshalo didn't make 100, and Xi Jinping didn't make her 99. So at the moment, between them, there are four kilos in the Kazakh lifters' favor. And the Universiad champion, secures yeah I think we got a fight on our hands right here uh, she's showing a lot of strength on that opener well the interesting thing is I've seen Chinchalo go to 130 yeah. but that was with 58 kilos of body weight at the Youth Olympics mm -hmm. regular more regularly you think she's 122 but you forget that in Korea she actually lifted 129 right now Xi Jing here, we don't really know. Uh, she lifted 122 at the university. Had how much has she got? Has she got those extra seven or eight kilos within her? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get a good idea uh, by looking at the second attempt because we'll, we'll see from that increase how confident the coach is, Alexei, how confident he is in her strength level tonight. So just to get everybody where we are here, Zofia Shinshanlo of Kazakhstan leads overall with 217. Currently in second place, Xi Jing of China with 214. Then in third place, we've got Xu Xuxing of Taipei on 213, who is lighter on body weight than Eileen Dazdelin, who's currently in fourth. And now we've got Sin, who isn't really fighting for overall honors, but he's focusing on clean and jerk medals. Boy, a heavy, heavy weight for her. Maybe that's why she was over the bar so long, getting ready to start. Pull is very slow off the floor. So slow you can really see the bar flex. Almost buried, almost touches the elbows to the knees. Just pretty much stacks her. Yeah, I think, to be honest, both she and her coaches were having a bit of a long shot here, and I, it hasn't paid off, really. I mean, she's got a total. She's 200 uh, kilos on the board, seventh place overall. But Eileen does Dell in now, 122 a kilo. Yeah. Now, sure. she, this, this, this is... This is intelligent lifting because I think the Turks have accepted that actually messing around with the Chinese and the Kazakh lifter is going to actually end in failure. They've got to focus on trying to get at least the overall bronze. Right. And that 120 uh, looked like it was a fairly heavy weight for her. So she's on 213. She's got two attempts. The woman who's in third place is the Taipei lifter on Su Shu Xing. So this will take Daz Delin into overall bronze and secure that. split on that jerk and she needed that and watch when she stands up her knees I think are going to almost touch them coming in so much with the effort there it is knees are almost touching she's working so hard to have. that's what I meant they, they really went to the well I think on that first attempt she pulled the rabbit out of the hat she made the lift they couldn't go up really aggressively two kilo increase she had to dig a little deeper she made another good lift but it's not like she's in here for 130 tonight or anything well, 215 she's now essentially secured that bronze medal interesting they're only going to 123 i, I would have thought they would put her up higher i i think there's a bit of measurement going on here you know are they guessing are they 
thinking that Xi Jing isn't quite up to this. This yeah, is they, the, they've, uh, this they've is changed. The, yeah, this yeah. is the People's Republic of Korea. Yeah, see, I, I didn't think they'd send her out for something like that. On the other hand, you know, followed, I think, maybe the road that you were going to go on. Alexei could have said, Alexei could have said, well, you know what, we'll give him that temp. We'll throw on 130 if we need it for the third temp. We'll just hold on to yeah. the third temp. But they're, they're going to break this up into bite-sized pieces. Remember, they do a lot of investigation here. You know, like football clubs uh, who have scouts who go out. You can be absolutely sure the Kazakhs will have scouted Xi Jinping at the university ad, and they'll be looking at things that appear on YouTube all over the place just to see what they reckon, you know, she can do. And they, you, they, they are wise enough to learn from those pictures. I was just about to say I'd be surprised if she Whoa. makes this. I'll be astonished if she does, but maybe she can. No. Yeah, great, great effort standing up. You know, on that point, we mentioned this last night. Sometimes I think teams will be cagey enough that if they don't need to, they won't reveal any more than they, well, they don't reveal any more than they really have to is all I need to say because they don't want to telegraph exactly where some lifters are going to be thinking of next year, get other teams to maybe lower their sights. And I think the Chinese team would be one that would be exceptionally good at, at masking uh, some of, of where their lifters are. Oh, I think that's right because, you know, I mean, what did we... Um, what are we looking at uh, in terms of world records? I think Li Ping is 129, and we're at uh, 125 now. And here, here comes this, what is really big, you know, it's a five kilo increase, but should be manageable for Xing Shao, but also puts in a position, if they need to put another five on, hey, you know what, they can do it. And remember, she's got, remember, she's still got that up again. She's got that four kilo advantage uh, from the first part. You know, and she got the 126. Also, the other advantage that Xin Shanlin has got is that she's lighter than Xi Jinping. Exactly. Yep. So, you know, you could say four kilos are halfway, call that five. <laughs> Stood up as if it were an empty bar. It's easy. There it is. This is why you could see them calling for 130 for her. Great left. And you see that five kilos that she's added on there. Um, six, sorry, six kilos takes her to 223. Now you put 223 in the uh, mix there, and you're right up there. That is a kilo more than Chen produced last year. Now, Chen was the woman that Xin Shalo beat in Goyang in 2009. Xin Shalo didn't, didn't go to the Worlds last year, so Chen duly took the title, but is quite determined here with the Kazakhs to get that title back. Right. But, you know, let's not write a death warrant yet for Ji Jing. She's only taken one attempt. She's in for 122nd on her second. So now you've got uh, Dajdelin. Now, Dajdelin weighed in at uh, 52.72. So, uh, although she's trying 126, were she to get this, she would actually be in second place in the clean and jerk, which is sort of where she is anyway. Well, I'll tell you, if she makes this lift, I mean, she's really going to have to stretch for this based on well, this the first two attempts. This is going to be six out of six. What a fantastic evening this would be. Yeah. Because uh, it is. We've moved from afternoon to evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would be quite something. Wow. Is it possible? Can she do it? Oh, look at this, Randy. Oh. Look at oh. that. Stand up and applaud. Yeah, you know, talking about standing up, knees come way in again. She recovered a little easier. Now, I'm 
going to say, go ahead and watch the bar. When we see the slow motion, watch the bar when she's getting set for the jerk. There's a rule that says you cannot oscillate the bar, but watch the plates in the bar very closely. Once she gets set for the jerk, you're going to see she's going to use a little bit of the mechanical energy in that bar to help get it over and then followed by a beautiful, very deep jerk. A combination of all those things is what gives her that sexual look, successful look. What an evening for her, huh? Well, six out of six. You take your hat off to any lifter who does that. But when you and come in, number of, when you start going and doing personal best, 219. I mean, I remember in the Athens, she was fourth in the Olympic Games in Athens when she was a 58 kilo uh, lifter and she did 225. But this is right up there for her. Well, now, we're, we're not done yet. Right. <laughs> Xi Jing, six kilos. Uh, now, she really is playing catch-up. She's on 214. Shin Shalu's on 223. And remember, Dajdelin has just gone to 219. So this is crucial. Oh, Dajdelin, could it be a silver? <laughs> Shin Shanlo surely has got that world title and she's still got an attempt to come. But I'd love to see a shot of uh, Dajdelin now. What a good contest, Randy. Yeah, what's the world record in this class? Uh, Li Ping, I think, 129. Well, then we're gonna see a world record attempt. If my memory, if my memory serves me right, and I will... Uh, I think that uh, we could see a world record attempt. I think it's Li Ping of China. If I'm uh, depending upon you know what Alexi Ni wants to do, if he wants to just you know show the world that she can do lifts at that level, or you know if he doesn't, you know the thing that we talked about, before, yeah, one, maybe not revealing everything. 129, and it's been around for what four years. It was set in Taiwan by Li Ping, yeah, who has an overall 230. See, it's a child's position perfectly for a crack at that. They don't need it. But I think she could do it. To 127. No, not to be. And Eileen Dajdelin has got the overall silver medal for Turkey. And that is just reward for getting six out of six. You, you know, and yesterday, China had an absolutely perfect day, swept all six available gold medals, yeah. and the string was broken on day two. We're not used to seeing that. Yeah, and you just see the emotion there. Sometimes you don't get it, but you could see how upset she is. Here it comes. Uh, look, look at this. Uh, Here comes world record attempt. Yeah, and you see Dajdelin in picture there, uh, just rejoicing at what she's achieved. Yeah, yeah she deserves it. I mean, every uh, every accolade that she gets, she deserves because a lot of guts in her lifting. And here comes this world record attempt that we thought was possible. Look at this, she comes out, she waves. It's like, don't worry, guys, I've done this way many times. No big deal. It's only 130 kilos. Well, you know, she's done it as a 58 kilo lifter, but yeah. she's a category below a 53, but you wouldn't know it. Look at Alexi Ni. Nee. It's too bad they can't keep another camera in him the whole time. So, one kilo ahead of Li Ping's record. That is the new world record in the clean and jerk for Kazakhstan and Zulfira Shinshanlo at just 18 years of age. She regains the world title, she claims a world record, and she has a total of 227 and I'm just having a look through this 227 that since these weight categories were established is the biggest victory in terms of kilos lifted boy this is the woman to watch next year I mean we, we sensed that when we first saw her she's coming on strong looking better each year what conference when she came out I, I gotta tell you I think that was really a winning entrance just have a look at this. The clean doesn't really doesn't muck slow her down. No. The Fair legs the leg strength is fantastic. Fairly deep uh, jerk, then the split in the jerk, and she adjusts with the back leg, make sure everything's really rock solid overhead. 
never in doubt. As I said, you know, when she came out, you had a feeling she's done this lift maybe more in training many, many times. Just relaxed about it. So casual, coming out waving before the world record attempt. Alexi Neve just telling... Uh, <laughs> just, uh, that's Ember Tequillery, yeah. uh, who was Naeem Suleiman, who's original coach. Uh, in Bulgaria, then went with him to Turkey, and now is in Kazakhstan. So uh, this, uh, there's a lot of uh, like real presence and weightlifting here, and that's Latin Van F. Congratulating him. Yeah, it's not going to be the only Kazakh uh, medal of this week. I can tell you that as well. Alexi Ni already on the phone. Yeah, probably calling the president of Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah, 2:27 to take the uh, gold medal, snatch, clean and jerk, and the total plus a world record. Perfect afternoon, and then the runner-up Eileen Dazdelin did absolutely nothing wrong. You're looking at the champion. Does that in 219 and in third place, uh, Yi Ying, this year's University Ed Champion on 214, just a kilo ahead of Xu Xu Xing of Taipei. That close. And you know, it just takes me back to uh, the Taipei lifter's third attempt at the clean and jerk, and you made the remark. I wonder whether they could have gone for more. Yeah. And the significance of that is that Xu weighed in at 52.68 uh, and Xi Jing weighed at 52.93. One more kilo would have given the Taipei lifter that bronze medal. Here you can see the clean and jerk. Three out of three and uh, five out of six overall for Xin Shanlo to take the title. Perfect lifting by Dajdelin. Six out of six. Superb performance by by her 126 a new pb in the clean and jerk excellent xi jing well real disappointment there 121 she clings on to that bronze medal in the clean and jerk and spare a thought for xu xing xu xu xing just missing out on it but still we have to wait for the uh, overall competition graphics this is only the clean and jerk and uh, this is not the final result